Hey, welcome back. You know what I mean? Fix the head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's step up time, you heard? Hey, look. Beat you hear right now, instrument you hear right now is uh, I and I, Pete Rock, step up. It's step up time, all right? It's time to get your game right. It's time to move up in the world, all right? Learn new things. That's why we're back here. All right? Here to learn you. Give you that info. All right? Let's go. Three, two, one, and. Man, very funky beat. Sorry. Three, two, one, and go. All right? And look, um, again, welcome back. Independent, sovereign city, state, democratic republic here to give you what's real, live, direct. Um, we don't play no games here, okay? We don't play no games, all right? Um, again, here to give you what's real in the world um, that occurs outside of the ISCSDR because it directly affects um, your inside world, okay? Um, been gone for a little bit, all right? But the entire channel has, has things you need, all right? Um, and again, things I learned, things, things that I that, that I receive on the daily, because of my in inquisitive mind. I don't trust teachers. I'll be my own teacher. Um, I only I only trust the specialists. I don't I don't trust generalized, um, generalized professions. All right. Oh, I'm a general contractor. I'm a I'm a general I'm a general doctor. All right. I just um. I just know a, 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 an array of basic information, basic medical information, basic um, uh, material information. I don't, I don't necessarily like. I, I, I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I know it's a profession for everybody, but I don't. I don't gravitate towards it. Okay, I trust specialists, people that people that put millions of dollars, people that have paid uh, thirty thousands or something dollars to specialize in one or two things. Okay, I don't I don't truly believe there's a, there's an ability for you to know everything. That's why you're a generalist. There's no, there's no ability to to, to uh, have a full grasp of all the information in the world. Okay, it's too much, but um, you do have the ability to specialize to to know one, two things. Okay, what special what specialties are you? I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, me personally. Um, I, I specialize in the in the field of biology, um, animals, most uh, nature. All right, mostly. Um, again, I'm not like a physicist or, or astronomer or anything like that. I do, I do like the bio world. I specialize in the bio world, and that also comes with um, uh, the mental world. All right, psychology, things that deal with the things that deal with the mind and and basic human interaction. With the environment. It's all the same stuff. Environmental ecology and stuff like that. Alright, but look, we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so enough of that, enough of that jargon. Okay. Um again, I typically do three topics here. Social, scientific, my favorites. Alright, and last political. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me again. All right, but look, you gonna get right into it. Uh, dang, so so many so many good things. I don't really know which one to start with. Any many money? Uh, I'll start y'all with social. Okay, I'll start off with a social one. DNA databases are too white, so genetics doesn't help everyone. And next next comment is how do we fix that? All right, when we say DNA databases are too white, I know exactly what that means. That specifically means is um, the Human Genome Project, all right, which is is um, which was a it's basically a a project that started about um, uh, nineteen something uh, around the nineteenth century. Okay, was made to create a book, um, not literally a book, but a a, a a reference point for all the genetic information that you can obtain um, and the variety of genetic 
information around the world. Um, what has happened and what people are real and and what they do with that genetic information, what these people do with the genetic information, they they may sell that or distribute that to medical uh, professions in order for them to create uh, the goal is to create a medicine that is specifically handled uh, directly to your um, genetic makeup, to your DNA. So, for example, if um, if my whole family is victim of breast cancer. And, and I am born in a generation where um, we're now this new modern generation where we're able to take um, DNA and we're able to um, look at your genetic structure and say, hey, all right, looks like you got this specific type of cancer that's going on through your through your uh, through your family and your heritage. We're going to go ahead and give you this pill that's going to take care of that. All right. It's going to affect it on a genetic uh, on a genetic uh, level. All right. Pretty serious stuff. All right. Actually, pretty innovative stuff. OK. Um, likewise, if you get sick or if you're sickly, your family has a history of sickness. All right. They can put the pill in you and that pill disperses itself to all the little genetic materials and fixes whatever, whatever may happen, whatever may not happen to you um, without if, without you having to grow out of it or without you having to do whatever. So anyway. Um, instead of a truly human genome that represents everyone, what is happening is um, they're finding that there's essentially a European genome. All right. Likewise, most uh, people that do these uh, DNA tests um, are Europe are white people. Now, when they say European, they mean white people. Um, but, but again. Uh, the data doesn't work for anybody apart from the people of European ancestry. All right. Uh, one of the solutions is saying that, look, we need to have more people come in and, and do these genetic tests. We need to have more people submit their DNA to us so that way we can have a variety. But again, um, in this database, they do have a good a good bit of people that do uh, submit African-American, Pacific Islanders, Asian, um, Indian, whatever it is. It's just there. The. The. Um, uh, the concentration of all this, I take an African person, I take a, um, uh, a Asian person, I take a Pacific Island Latino person. They put that all together in that, in that cluster of all these different people that are not white, that are different colors, different races. Um, still, the majority of that genetic information is coming out European, coming out white. All right. Um, I've done um videos on this in the past but colonization is very real and this is the effect of colonization all right you have people that don't have a pure uh not even necessarily pure but they don't have a um uh, a majority of um minority genetics in them brown genetics or the uh dominant uh genetics all right because of the amount of colonization that happened because of the amount of uh british uh, American, Eng uh, mainly European conquest that occurs throughout history. Now everyone has a hint or more of European genetics in them. Makes sense. All right. Um, when people of African, Asian, Native American or Pacific Island ancestry get DNA tests to determine if they've inherited a variant that may cause cancer or if a particular drug will work for them, they're often left with more questions then answers. The results often reveal variants of uncertain significance, leaving doctors with too little useful information. This happens less often for people of European descent. Okay, so again, um, they have a makeup for those that are um, more of, of indigenous or have less of a less European um, genetics in them. When they do submit their uh, their DNA to this to this human genome project, there are a lot of anom anom anomalies. Sorry, anomalies, anomalies. Okay, a lot of uncertainties. Why? Because the basis of this project is mostly European, mostly white. Okay, now when they're looking at DNA. Uh, people may think it's just race, and I want to clarify this for you. It's not just race, okay? Uh, there is an environmental effect, a social effect 
A lot of things affect your DNA. Your DNA isn't stagnant. It's not just going to stay like it. It's not like RNA. DNA is not just stagnant. All right. It, it develops over time, depending on the thing, depending on your uh, outside environment. You may have some things that go dormant. You may have some things activate that were dormant. All right. But it, it develops over time. OK, it's very as a very uh, active thing. So, again, African-Americans who were enslaved and brought over to the United States have significantly different DNA from Africans, from African immigrants that come over today. All right. Yes, both have the same uh, descendants uh, necessarily. But that transition over here and the environment that America has brought um, opposed to the environment, the, ec the ecology in Africa, the ecology in, in the U.S. is different. The um, the economics and the stresses that go with that in Africa are different from the ones that go um, in the U.S. And um, likewise, the uh, social differences as well all right, develop a different type of, of genetic information. All right. Very interesting stuff. All right. Second, we're going to go directly. That's a social document. All right. Um, we're going to go directly into a scientific document. This this is this is physics. All right. For those of you that haven't taken, I'm about to be taking physics, but this is physics. OK. And uh, again, this is in my forte. So I'm going to keep it very brief. All right. Even a weird hypernucleus confirms a fundamental symmetry of nature. OK. New study could also support the idea that exotic particles called hyperons lie at the center of neutron stars. All right. Look. Regardless of what I'm not going to get too much into detail here because it gets I, I've done the research. It gets kind of confusing. All right. To people that don't know. All right. Or that don't overstand. OK. But basically um, what scientists have found out is there is a there's a duality. All right. In physics. All right. And physics is a study of matter and how it moves through space, heat, things like that. Um, you can look that up yourself. But there's a duality. There's a symmetry. In, in nature, physics is one of the is, is one of the natural sciences. OK, so there are laws of nature that it has to abide by and that is found out. All right. Basically, you have a nucleus, all right, proton, neutron. Things that make up matter and mass. Right. Um, there is also an antimatter version of a nucleus. It's called an anti hyper triton. OK. Um, and there's a twin called a hyper triton. All right. But basically it's antimatter. All right. Um, what that means is um, uh, how am I going to put this? So the antimatter or or what scientists are finding or what scientists are seeing is that there is a pillar of physics called a charge parity and time or CPT. All right. What that basically means is if you have a charge, this is electricity, if you have a charge, a positive charge. And something is positively charged. There is, there is an antimatter version that is negatively charged. Okay, parity uh, is the is a similar thing. The parity is is your ability to move this way or that way. All right, parrying. Right, if you know what that means, uh, essentially. All right, the parity is the same thing. Okay, if you have people that move forward. All right. Um. Directly, you would have the same thing on the opposite side, people that move backwards, in a sense, or color, all right? If you're looking at color, and the color is, is red, there's a direct um, antimatter version that, that, is a, that is a different color than that. And the last one is, uh, uh, sorry, CPT, time. The last one is time, all right? And if, you, and if you can guess, if you have time that moves fast, on the opposite, it'll move slow. Plain and simple, all right? So basically... What they're confirming is, is um, um, that this pillar may hold, all right, the CPT pi uh, pillar, the one where, where, again, where it says everything, there is an antimatter to your matter. So if you are who you are, there is an anti-version of who you are somewhere, all right? And obviously not in this, not in this plane, but in a different one. And that's what, that's what we're trying to find out. Well, that's what scientists are trying to find out, all right? They have tested this in um, in stars. All right, basically they have found that um, that a that a dying star or a neutron star, which is a which is like our sun, has exploded 
and has gone from white because once the sun explodes, right, it goes into white dwarf and then it goes out into into something else. All right, that white dwarf goes down to a neutron star, which is about 300 million years before it dies out completely. All right, around that. All right, they have found that in that neutron star, um, there are hypertritons. All right, which is an antimatter version of a uh, of a nucleus, which makes up, which uh, obviously makes up most matter. All right. Interesting stuff there. Okay. Last and um, <laughs> I'll say I told you so least because I don't like this, but uh, but I knew it was going to happen. All right. What Australia's this is a political document. What Australia's new law might mean for the news you see in the future. OK. Uh, Australia is doing what uh, America is essentially attempting to do and what other countries have done already. If you look at um, the Middle East and you look at um, uh, China, well, obviously China and Russia, um, Australia is now doing this. Um, in Australia, the websites that were previously blocked by Facebook are now accessible and shareable once again. All right. Basically, Australia government has passed a law that is saying that um, that if uh, uh, news on social media or other media consumer sites, Twitter, things like that, they don't they don't have their own news station per se. Right. Um, they they live off of sharing and people doing things on there. All right. So news on social media and media consumers around the world, Discord, things like that, tw um, uh, Twitch, they are going to be charged for every um, shared news document that is put on their site. All right. Uh, one of the main reasons why is because um, a regular news station, a regular news uh, website gets their money from the advertisements that are on that website. Okay, so CNN gets money, cnnnews.com gets money from how many ads are on there. Citibank, um, I, mean, I can point to you right now, Citibank, Lending Tree, Xfinity, uh, what else is on here? Uh, expert Consumers, Bon Voyage, a bunch of TripAdvisor stuff, whatever. This is Marley Spoon, random things, okay? There's a lot of there's a lot of ads on there and they get paid for that ads. They get paid for those. All right. But what's happening is people are taking this news. They're sharing it on Facebook and Facebook does a synopsis and people are just looking at that and going on Facebook as opposed to clicking directly on the news um, site, which is losing them money, losing them dollars and cents. All right. Not necessarily billions in, for one person, but it's losing them dollars. All right. That add up to billions. All right. So, again, the solution Australia came, Australia came up with was, hey, if you're going to keep sharing um, other people's news on Facebook, Facebook is going to be charged for that. All right. Um, Google and Facebook don't. This is Facebook is just an example, but Google and Facebook don't like it. All right. They didn't like that. All right. Um, so what they did was they combated that and they said, hey, look. From now on, no one's going to post any news on my Facebook site. All right, Facebook, just shut it down. Anything that's not Facebook news, we don't want it on here. All right, you weren't allowed to do it. They blocked it. All right, now it's turned back on. Now people can do that again because of some because of some uh, legislation and some reworking of that of those amendments. All right, publishers have, have been publishers have been complaining for years that the two tech giants have eaten away at the advertising dollars that keep news outlets afloat. The tech companies in response say they are providing something of value by connecting the world and advertisers are merely chasing eyeballs. I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. That doesn't make sense, all right? Lawmakers and regulators from Australia to the US are looking at different models to make Facebook and Google pay for a share of the cost of news gathering. I said the tech companies are taking advantage of news and information resources without looking out for their well-being. Yeah, could be true. When you go to CNN, you know what you're going to get. When you go to Fox.com, you know what you're going to get. Um, when you go to Business Standard, you know what you're going to get. All right. Science News, you know what you're going to get there. OK, Facebook and Google, you don't because those are social platforms. All right. So you have a you have an array 
a variety of news from all over the place on on one platform. And it can confuse people. All right. How it confuses people because you don't know who's backing this. You don't know what you're going to get. You just stumble upon random things. You can stumble upon upon um, uh, uh, contradicting news. I have one. I have one person here that posted that that India is is doing great. I have another one on here that says India is not doing great. It's contradicting. There's no there's no consistency there. Makes sense. All right. Um, personally, I think info is info. It's up to the individual to be able to uh, uh, be logical and find things out. All right. But I can see how if if, um, you know, the younger generation needs to be guided. So I can see how uh, people that just stumble upon these things can get confused a lot easier, a lot easier. All right. So to recap, we're going to do a recap. Um, I, I don't I'm, I'm not sure if I would submit more of my DNA. I'm not sure. Okay, just to balance out the uh, the whiteness of the human genome project. All right. Um, there are reasonings that say that you know if you have ancestral roots from West Africa, you're more uh, prone to um, for the intake of calcium um, because of the amount of uh, lack of cow milk cows that they had in those hotter regions. Um, and because of those milk cows not having as much cow, uh, milk provided, uh, West Africans drink a, a lot less of milk, but their bones develop to a point where they intake and they, and they hold a lot more calcium. So when they come over to the U.S., when they were shipped over to the U.S. and they drink a lot of milk like that, it's, it becomes an excessive amount of milk causing cancer. That's, that, that's a study that's done. All right. Um, but... Um. Eh. You shouldn't have anything in excess anyway. I think it's just basic knowledge. All right. But also, if you feel like you want to, um, if you feel like you want to do that, submit your DNA. You can. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, if we're looking at a medication again, if you overstand, you're looking at a medication that solves everyone's issues. I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's healthy. Honestly, there are natural occurrences. I'm a big fan of nat natural sciences. There's a natural occurrence that happens in the body with bacteria, things like that. I don't like synthetics that much. So if my body feels like um, it can adapt to a situation, it will. It's homeostasis. All right. It will. It will. It will do that if I if, if I manage it correctly and I don't overuse and overdo a lot of things. All right. OK. But case in point for this, for that article, there's too many, too many European, uh, uh, it's too many of a European blueprint that they're going off of. So essentially right now, your DNA test won't help anybody. Okay, second, hypernucleuses, um, antimatter, hypertritons, hypertritons, all right? Um, it may be neither here nor there to you, but again, if physics is a, is a law of nature, all right, it's a study of nature and matter. So again, if you are seeing, if you know that there is an opposite for everything that you do, there's a yin and yang, which was a spiritual thing at one point. Now it's becoming, now we're seeing the scientific term for it. There is a white and there's a black. There's a positive and there's a negative for everything that you do or everything in this world. Okay, just know that what you do has a has a negative effect. Just know that maybe that's why sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you feel sad. All right, sometimes you're doing great in the world, sometimes you're not doing great in the world. There's a direct yin and yang to everything. There's a symmetry to everything in the laws of nature, life and death, things like that. All right. So, don't think it's just you. This is nature. Uh you made a million, lost a million, hey, that's just a part of nature. All right, try to do your best to to uh, create contingencies in the in the symmetry of the world. All right, third, which I knew it was coming. Basically, the end is getting more regulated by the feds, by the government. All right, there's no longer an access for you to say, uh, or there will be no longer an access for you to say, hey, look, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post whatever I want. I'm gonna repost whatever I want on another site. 
okay? Um, there's two things that can happen. One, you can keep doing that and the feds can crack down on it more. And big tech won't, won't, doesn't like being charged for stuff, doesn't like to be government uh, regulated, obviously. Or two, you can start contributing your own uh, wealth of information to these sites, Facebook and Google. You can start doing that yourself. You can start um, uh, doing your own reasoning and finding things out yourself by using the sources that you find to re-report, to regurgitate this information in your own way. All right. That way people know that there is a consistency going on here. When I go to Facebook, I know what I expect. When I go there, I expect to see a bunch of bunch of liberal news. If I go to Google, I expect to see a bunch of tech news, whatever it is. All right. All right, we're going to end you off. It's kind of long. We're going to end you off with a little bit of uh, relaxation. All right. A little bit jazzy. Inhale, exhale. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And relax. All right. Peace love and use your head for more than a hat rack.